so in this video we will learn how you can create custom button we have already studied uh, how we can use the inbuilt button component but the problem with the inbuilt button component is that you cannot uh, style the button uh, uh, as you want because style property cannot be applied on button if I create let's say button it's a closing element title press you will get this and in android you will get a box but there is no way that you can apply style property to a button so in this scenario you have to create a custom button so we will be using custom button so we won't be needing this button component so let us create a small app uh, in which uh, user can insert their name and when we press the button that custom button comp component that we have created uh, alert will pop up and show you your name so just create a react native project and open it in visual studio code and run it on ios simulator or uh, android simulator so let me first create variable uh, for storing the name const name set name use that initially it will be an empty string so in this variable we are we will be storing our name so let us create a text input text point with is an self closing element and change the text we will be storing the text the user will insert the text and we will be storing the set text into set name using set name function the text will be stored into the name variable let me just save it you also need to apply styling let's say input let apply some background color gray As you can see, let me just apply some padding. Okay. Let me just toggle the keyboard. Okay. So let me create a custom button. For that we need to import touchable opacity. We have already learned how to use touchable opacity. Under that we will be creating a view. This view will surround our button the text let's say uh, press now let us apply some styling property style is not we will be creating a button
let us first apply the background color background color will be let's see yellow let's apply some padding 20 march in top let me just center the text align items we can also provide border width let's say 3 border color green we can also apply border radius let's say 5 let's just increase uh, 20 as you can see it's slightly curved on the edges so we have created the custom button as you can see it looks much better than the inbuilt button component now we can provide the on press event here Whenever is uh, press this, let me first import the alert. Whenever user press this button, alert will pop up. First of all, the heading, your details. Second will be the message. So we simply write your name is and we concat the message to this name variable name dot to string. Now let me just save it. Now if I write my name here and I press save as you can see your name is Bridgen and heading is your details still the keyboard is not dismissing so we have learned that from our last video let us implement that also keyboard Testable without feedback. We wrap this entire view in touchable without feedback. So on press. Error function keyboard dot dismiss now if I write something let's say Tony and I press somewhere else the keyboard will be dismissed and when I press your name is done so this is how you can create a custom button as we have created here and it looks much better than the inbuilt button components so you can apply a styling according to your need so thanks for watching it